attention on group two and group three educators at the middle school and high school levels. We have discovered an error that affects the component five exclusion list for DPAS 2 previously published. The error only affects group two and group three educators at the secondary level. Group one teachers rosters were not affected. Last Friday, May 11th, the inaccurate files were removed from your building's T drive and have now been replaced with corrected files. If you have not entered any post-test data onto your pre-post-test record form, just use the corrected exclusion list when you enter your post-test data and complete your roster verification. A step-by-step -step podcast is available in the DPAS 2 section of the staff channel on the district website to guide you through that process. If you have already entered any post-test data onto your pre-post-test record form, Continue watching this podcast, and we'll walk you through step-by-step step on how to make the needed revisions. The revision process should take somewhere between five and 10 minutes to complete. Let's get started. Open the pre-post-test record form that you've already completed. Here's my completed form. Notice I've already done roster verification, removing students, that did not take the post-test, as well as students that were on the exclusion list. To make the needed revisions, go to the bottom of the spreadsheet and make sure the worksheet that is open is the Verified Worksheet tab. Put your cursor on the word Verified, right-click, and select Delete. A pop-up will appear asking if you're sure you want to delete. Go ahead and click Delete. We now have two tabs in this Excel file, pre-test and post-test. Our next step is to make an identical copy of our post-test worksheet. To do that, place your cursor on the post-test tab, right-click, and select Move or Copy. In the pop-up, click Move to the end, and select Create a Copy, and click OK. You can see that an identical copy to the post-test tab has been created. Let's change the name of that new tab from post-test to to verified. To do that, right-click and select rename and type in verified. Then go to the top of the page and click save. It's now time to do our roster verification just as we did before, but using the new list. First, I'm gonna remove the three students that didn't have any post-test scores. See, the first one is Michelle Carter, has no post-test score. I'm gonna left-click her row to highlight it, then right-click and select Delete Contents. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two students without post-test scores. Connor, highlight, delete contents. And Kim, highlight and delete contents. It's now time to remove the students that appear on the revised exclusion list. There's the list of my students for my science class that meet the criteria for exclusion. Comparing the names on the two lists, I see that I need to remove three more students. Haley Anderson needs to be excluded. She is row 11. So highlight, right click, and delete contents. Next student is Sue Bird. She's row 15. Highlight, delete contents. And the last one is Mike Phelps. So I'm going to scroll down and look for Mike. There he is. Highlight, right click, delete contents. I've now removed all the students that needed to be excluded, and that leaves a total of 36 students on my verified roster. Skip a cell under the word total and type in target met. Count up the number of yeses in the target met column and type that number in the cell. In this case, there were 28 who met their targets. 
Then right under the word target, type percent meeting target. For the percentage, I'm gonna let Excel do the work. Skip over to the next cell and enter an equal sign. Then click the cell containing the target met number. Then a divided by sign and click the cell containing the total number of students and hit enter. Excel does the math and leaves us with a decimal to convert to a percentage. Highlight the cell, then go to the toolbar and look for the percent button and click it. 78% of the students on my verified roster met their target. Roster verification is now complete. Be sure to push save and resubmit this revised verified roster to your evaluator.